Selma is a sea otter. She's eight years old. She's a female and she's the California or Southern kind of sea otter. And she's been at Oregon Zoo since she was about two years old. So keepers came in one Monday morning and they were feeding Thelma her breakfast and noticed she was not eating as well as she normally does. And one thing sea otters do is eat very well. So her not eating breakfast was a sign that something bad was going on. When I came over to look at her, she wasn't able to dive well, she wasn't swimming normally, she wasn't acting as enthusiastic as she normally does, and when I felt her belly, it felt tense, it felt like there was gas in there. So OHSU helped us out and let us get CT and MR images of her body, which, you know, because of her her stomach looking uncomfortable earlier in the week, we were focusing on that. But as a surprise, we noticed that her chest, we hadn't even been looking at her chest before, but now just in the edge of the picture, we saw that her chest had extra air in it, pressing on the outside of the lungs so she couldn't breathe normally. It's like you're suffocating from within, so we had to do something about it pretty quickly. We decided that lung, that left lung, was diseased and the source of the problem, so we needed to remove it and seal off the base where it used to be. And as far as our sea, other sea otter vets we talked to, nobody had ever done chest surgery inside the chest of a sea otter before. There are very few in captivity anyway, and it's pretty aggressive surgery no matter what the species. So that was a little nerve-wracking. Thelma was the very best sea otter, well, even compared to our river otters. She's a very best behaved otter we've got at this zoo and she's even better behaved and more comfortable around people and calmer than other zoos otters too which was hugely in her favor if this was her boyfriend Eddie that had this problem there is no way he would have died she allowed us to take x-rays of her chest while she was laying there she would not try to attack us she would let us um, suck more air out of her chest without trying to attack us um, feeding her was one of the most fun things ever to do. You know, feeding her shrimp at two in the morning was great. Come in and help me with her. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what happened. Thelma's recovery has been pretty amazing. She surprised all of us. You know, we had been told before we even got to have sea otters here that it was very difficult to keep sea otters, and that's true. But even after she went through weeks of us staring at her and you know being pretty aggressive with care she allows us to go visit her she lets us touch her she lets us feed her she does not have the aggressive attitude i mean still there's care that you have to have when you're working around a sea otter but she is the most easygoing of all of them yeah.